The blasting beat of King Sunny Ade blared across the milieu with ballistic bouts of briskly cadences and blissful caresses by bobbing party rockers. <laughs> of stars, the infusion of flares, and the incursion of stateliness into yet 158 or Regun Lagos, item the pool that magnetized great men and classy women into the environs for the engaging engagement of Olua Pukola Olofin Gorite and Olua Sheyi Olumagwa on Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. It was a reunion rooted from familiar source and reaffirmed with filial ties, occasioned by worthy families from wonderful land of Idori, the flourishing town with an early headline. These unique features were further entrenched in the melodic content of Rotimi Akinlamilo, the Idori based traditional musician that propagates its cultural endowment with song. <laughs> This mood that ultimately eroded the arrival of the bride's family, the Olofin Gorites. <laughs> then the Olumogbas. were duly paid between the two families. Pleasantries were freely transacted by their accolades. <laughs> Anchored by Ili Okoya, the engagement ceremony was a parade of elegance with a very viable bite of culture and values. Letters were presented and accepted. The letter of intent was read by the bride's younger sister. Then the groom, Oluwa Sheyi, made his entry in his royal apparel. Sheyi was quite regard, showcasing his dancing skills alongside his allies. <laughs> He paid the necessary courses to both his in-laws and his parents. Then he waited for his bride. Within a short while, the bride surfaced. Slim and scintillating, Bukola was a bushel of beauty and this was made obvious with a constant blush that bore its reading on her feet. She garnered blessings from her parents and added for a new home. Where she was unveiled and accepted into the Olumogba clan. From the colorful bridal gifts, she picked the Holy Bible. In a display of affection, she then joined a man.
They caught the wedding cake and the official handing over was carried out by the parents. From there, Akin Lamelo took over the reins of rivalries with his folkloric lyrics. In earnest, the atmosphere descended into a tasteful reception with a juju maestro on the driver's seat of fun. Lovely guests and lively individuals relished the frenetic ambience that flourished with quality, conviviality and charisma. Now in a new dress, the bride's parents reappeared to set the stage. The arrival of the newlyweds in their apparel switch was spectacular as a DJ jolted the venue with contemporary music. The energetic dance soon dissolved into a slow and sensual steps. They later cut the wedding cake and this snowballed into a full-blown party as King Sonia Day held the crowd spellbound. It couldn't have been otherwise considering the status and class of the couple's parents. The bride's parents, the loving Gori Tez, are a top-notch socialite with eyes for glamour. The bride's mother, Mrs. Titi Layo, the Yeyo girl of Ogba land, is a fanatic fashionista. <laughs> Chief Henry Olofin Gorite is a guy man who refused to be caught up with the elasticity of age. He is the chairman of Eritina Glass a Lagos-based glass and aluminium company with a broad business tentacle. <laughs> the laughing gory tells enjoy the presence of those that matter in the society, among who are Club 66 Idorix and Royal Sisters Club. <laughs> With the king on the bandstand, there was never a dull moment all through the affair. <laughs> the couple, their parents, and some of the guests spoke to Red Carpet TV. I like to advise them to respect each other, love each other. To be there for each other. I love them. Congratulations to the couple. I'm happy that they're together. I want to advise that they should learn to understand each other. No lies. Stick to the truth. Always. No matter the situation. Always stick to the truth. They should respect each other, have love in each other, you know, support each other, and actually, you know, listen to their parents' advice where it's necessary. I will invite them to follow the Bible, to let the Bible be their pillar every time where they are going. 
they should always pray together, sleep together, do everything together. They should not have any secrets for themselves. And whatever they have any misunderstanding, they should share it within themselves. That they should give themselves a tolerance, wisdom, that's what they need in marriage. Because if they don't tolerate each other, they need people to live together. So I, I wish them to you know, stay together and uh, tolerate each other. <laughs> Getting married to my best friend, someone I cherish so much, someone that has a very good heart and I think I would describe her as my missing rib. So when I finally found her, I mean, it, it, she complimented me. I'm so happy right now. I'm so excited. I'm happy to marry the love of my life. Very nice person. He has a good heart. He's very caring, very understanding. He understands me especially. And he's very patient. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we congratulate Chief and Chief Mrs. Eri Olofingorite on yet another milestone and wish the couple a blessed home.